Today the world of science has clearly seen the existence of God. The splendid balance of the Big Bang, the great order that was formed following this explosion, all this is coming up. As we have seen, the universe in which we live came into being about 15 billion years ago with a great explosion, and it went on to expand and take its present form. The vacuum of space, the galaxies, the planets, the sun, the earth, in short, all the universe's structures and bodies were formed as a result of this explosion. But there's a great secret. The Big Bang was a wondrous explosion that included all of the matter that was needed to form the universe. If it had been nothing but a chance explosion, the matter formed in it would have spread around pell-mell, randomly and without order. But that didn't happen. The matter spread through the vacuum of space and formed the galaxies, stars, and star systems according to a definite plan. In the end, an extremely systematic and orderly universe was formed. This was an astonishing concept for many scientists, because all explosions destroy order by breaking it up into pieces. All explosions have a destructive impact. Therefore, the formation of this flawless order following the Big Bang could only be explained through a miracle. As astrophysicist Alan Sandage stated, I find it quite improbable that such order came out of chaos. God is the explanation for the miracle of existence, why there is something instead of nothing. This great miracle brought together the atoms in a certain way forming the universe and the perfect balance between billions of galaxies and trillions of stars and other celestial bodies. It is God, the all-wise and the all-powerful who performed this miracle and showed it to us. God says in a verse of the Quran, he to whom the kingdom of the heavens and the earth belongs, he has no partner in the kingdom. He created everything and determined it most exactly. The pieces of matter that were formed as a result of the Big Bang started flying away from each other at tremendous speed. But, if they had flown apart slightly less quickly, all the matter would have clumped together before the star systems had a chance to form, due to the intense force of gravity. And 
if the universe had expanded just a little more quickly, then the matter in it would have scattered and spread out across the universe, lost in a way that would have precluded the formation of both galaxies and stars. In either of these cases, there would have been no living creatures, us included, in the universe. But neither of these situations came to pass, and instead, an extremely well-designed expansion rate led to the present order of the universe. So, just how delicate is this balance? Professor Stephen Hawking, one of the leading physicists of our age, wrote in his famous book, A Brief History of Time, If the rate of expansion one second after the Big Bang had been smaller by even one part in a hundred thousand million million, the universe would have re-collapsed before it ever reached its present size. Science compared the beginning of the universe to placing a pencil on its pointed tip in such a way that it would stay in this position even after a billion years had passed. Such a balance is truly beyond the comprehension of the human mind. What does this extraordinary balance point to? Surely, such a delicate balance cannot be explained by mere chance. Rather, it points to an intelligent design. Theoretical physicist Paul Davies from Australia's Adelaide University accepts this reality, despite his support for materialism. The seemingly miraculous concurrence of numerical values in nature's fundamental constants must remain the most compelling evidence for an element of cosmic design. The clear results of science led Davies, a materialist, to recognize the fact that the universe is the result of design and creation. American astronomy professor George Greenstein made a similar remark in his book, The Symbiotic Universe. survey all the evidence, the thought insistently arises that some supernatural agency, or rather agency, must be involved. In sum, the unique plan and order in the universe point clearly to the existence of a creator who possesses endless knowledge power and intelligence. The Creator is the Almighty God, the Lord of all the worlds. What is the purpose of the vast vacuums of space? What would have happened if space hadn't been so large? That's all coming up. between bodies in the universe are staggeringly large when compared to the distances on the Earth.